and uh, you you start pulling up the garner. Everyone, make a perception check for me. <laughs> yeah, Caleb notices nothing different. Um, you're coming from the south, and the outskirts here, all these like towns and stuff out here, seem more populated than normal. The, the guards, you know, ask who you are as you're coming in. I assume you just let uh, them know, give them the papers. Nice, Baron Hoffa. Who are we? Who are we? <laughs> Uh, yes. Begin, who are you? I'll, I'll begin explaining who we are in elaborate oral storytelling. Uh, one one of the guards, <laughs> one of the guards is the guards that uh, Dave Chavez followed around and kept questioning. <laughs> he's just like shaking his head and like tries to tries to walk away before he's approached for questioning. Do you know where Sir Aaron of Walsher is? Uh, he's he's left the royal guard. He's, he's gone. He left earlier where? today. Where'd he go? I don't know. I mean, you guys you guys came from the same road he left. Probably passed him on the way. Hoffa, make a perception roll. Uh, perception. Uh, you see five horsemen. Two in the front, two in the back. The They look, look like Royal Guard in the front and the back. And you're not 100% sure, but look kind of familiar to the person in the middle. Yeah, you, you swear the guy in the middle kind of was giving you a nod. You couldn't couldn't really make it out. So they, they passed through. Yeah, you know, Hoffa, Hoffa just had a feeling that he knew that guy. Um, ah. I'd like to say I'm in charge <laughs> and do a deception. <laughs> okay. In charge of what? I don't... The Royal Guard. You're not Lord Chester Rockfield. So oh, we asked George. George. We asked who was in charge. No, you asked where Aaron Walsh was. Okay. He just he starts walking uh, with you guys. He leads you. He leads you over to the Pantheon. Asks you guys to wait there. And uh, oh, guys, I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, the guards like uh, why? I don't I'm talking know. to you. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like an honorable guy. Yeah, he's in the good boy section. That's all I need to know. He's like, friends, friends. Sorry, it's, uh, we've had to return in such dark times with the king passing. Ah, yes. Our condolences. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm sure you've probably figured out by now, or at least heard, Aaron Walsher decided to step down. And who from Walsher is pretending for the throne? Well, uh, I'm sure there'll be a meeting between the lords. This tied up. We can try to. Ah, uh, were you briefed on our mission? I was the one that put you guys together to oh, investigate okay. the rumors of this. Uh, let's call it revolution. I use that word lightly. It seemed like just bandits in the streets that were killed. Ah, well, this gentleman is the leader of one of those bandits groups, and uh, he knows who is behind, who's been paying uh, other bandit groups to start around your town and city. He kind of. Uh, Comes up and looks at Zulfar. No check. But he hasn't. No check. He has. Oh. All right. Uh, so he says very well, and he uh, brings over a few of the guards, and uh, has them take him away. He's like, "We'll take him away for questioning. Tell me what you know. I want to hear it from you." Um, I feel like I feel like we should play dumb. Yeah, he wouldn't really talk. But who are they working well, for? Said, yeah. I don't I mean, know. He wouldn't really tell this us. Anything, so we don't really know what's going on. We just know that they're bandits and they wanted a revolution. And he pretty much clammed up as soon as we tried to question him. He didn't even say he was working well, for anybody. For well, right well done, well done, friends. He he, uh, again, he's, he's, he is ter he is scared. Like he's legitimately terrified right now. He's he's telling you that you guys are making a mistake. Like you, you serve the why same people. Why, why, why is it? We're getting reports, and I know you guys said it's just bandits, but one of the one of the twelve tribes from Colter has been camping on the outskirts of the city. Uh, there could be an attack on the on the capital, and to be to be honest with you, I'm down to about 100 Kingsguard who've stayed around. Let's let's meet meet back here around eight o'clock. Oh my god! So uh, he he hands you that. He's gonna be like, to be honest, he wasn't a. Uh, even entirely sure he could trust you guys. But uh, I saw you guys coming to town earlier, and uh, looks like you're not part of the bad guys. Aaron uh, left this as well. 
He uh, goes and pulls out. It's a master of loot with a ribbon on it. <laughs> Got some new teeth for me too, Frankie? <laughs> He says, uh, Dave, didn't really mention you. Uh, sorry, friend. I'll be honest, I don't think we have much choice of anything. This city's hot. It's going to be attacked soon. Um, you guys hear a loud horn. Do I recognize and the sound of it? No, but Frankie uh, definitely seems concerned. It's like, uh, that's that's not good. And, uh, that's, that's, the horn, that's the horn to set up the defenses for the city. As you guys start heading that way... Even before you get there, at the uh, the gates to the upper levels here, you see uh, Chester Rockland there, the commander, and he's setting up defenses. You need to defend all three entrances before everyone can evacuate up to the upper level. So I'm putting you guys on the south gate. I need you guys okay. to hold it as long as you can. Don't die there. Just hold it as long as you can. When you can't hold it any longer, meet back here, and we'll make a stand together. He, he looks to, to Hoffa. Uh, he kind of glances at the king sword that you're holding, uh, and he just he he lets you know he's like, uh, "You lead the defense there. No one else is in charge of you guys there. There's, there'll be guards, but you're in charge." Just so you know, if anyone comes through the gates that has Walsher colors on, you let me know. You're, oh, you're telling that to the guard here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who are you? <laughs> I'm leading this. I. I I let him know. That is Hoffa, the Baron. Cur I don't know if you know the sword he's holding. He carries a lot of cloud around here now. He Show him the king's sword. <laughs> you can pull it out, cast light on it. <laughs> or perhaps you'll know me better from this scar. <laughs> they look confused by the scar. Uh, but they definitely <laughs> recognize the king's sword. Like, oh my god, the king's sword. Like, Did uh, you slip on a rock when you were seven? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? And spend <laughs> ten minutes giving them a speech. And uh, you notice a group of bad guys lined up outside. They look look like they're ready to make an attack. Okay, so you cast Bless onto Zook, or who'd you use it on? I used it on ev uh, everyone in our party. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to cast Shatter right here. Yes, the uh, Acolyte's dead. Cast the uh, Fairy Fire. Okay. I'm the owl. <clears throat> Kick the ladders! Stay put for now. Uh, my turn's gonna be pretty quick. Cure wounds on uh, Zook. Okay. Alright, and Talos, you're up. I think we all know what I'm gonna do. Finish the job, Talos. Um, what are you trying to cast? Shatter. All right, tell us. Proficiency with one. Oops. Or two. So is uh, that your turn, Talus? Um, I am going to. Yeah, I guess I won't use my my quick and spell. I'm done. I'm gonna wink at Frankie. I'm gonna be like, "This is how you shoot bow." This area, and give me a lift up so I can jump up to the top. You just scale that wall. I don't know why they have ladders. <laughs> right? Maybe I'll have them so. do that. <laughs> right here. Okay. And I'm gonna attack the shit out of this guy. Okay. And now Frankie's turn. Frankie's gonna shoot at this guy who has the hunter's mark, and he also gets advantage. He was gonna say that's how you shoot, but since he didn't kill the guy. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go over here. Spirit weapon. Uh, I won't hit. Never mind. Talos, you're up. All right. I am going to move here. Well, I don't know what's up. And I am going, so I can't see. The squares are kind of weird. I'm yeah. just at the edge. Yeah. Um, On the left side. Well, just, this guy, is he blocked by the guard, though? Like, if I, I can shoot him, though? Like, I just, like, can I shoot, shoot him, him with what? Him? I'm not going to use Shatter. Okay. Um,. I am going to cast. Um, well, Andrew, did you say I could hit this guy if I shoot like a like a missile at him? So, oh, there's a guy on the ladder too. Yeah, there's a guy right here on the ladder. So I get three attacks of scorching ray. So my first one be on him. Um, I'm not gonna. Uh, have we? Has anybody? Have we been hit their ACs yet? Directed at somebody else. I think if I fail. 
Um, I'll teach you a little bit. I'll, I'll shoot that guy. And then I'm just gonna uh, use the rest of my movement to back away. And I'm done. Okay. Hey, party. I'm gonna try to drop this guy in here. So I'm going to give the call to retreat. Guy right in front of me again. Okay, so Frankie's gonna fire at this guy here. Two leaving engagements to go. Boop. Okay. Magic missile. Zook, um, just from your passive perception up here, and Hoffa, you can tell too, there are more people coming. Yeah, I'm gonna run in the carriage and get ready to mount that one. Nice. Good thinking. Good thinking. Yeah, or we can just leave. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to continue um, yelling, retreat, retreat, basically also saying to the carriage, to our party. Frankie's going to take a shot at this guy over here. All right, I'm going to disengage try to jump down here. All right, so I'm going to take the disengage. I'm going to dash to the... Uh, as I approach this wall, I'm going to put the sword in my mouth, use the shield to propel me forward, dive flip over the wall manage to hold that sword in your mouth uh and not drop it but you you do take a 1d6 all right so the guards are all gonna hop in and uh let's, let's prioritize green guards over here i want to i want to high five them as they get in they, they can all easily fit josh okay so as you go through the city of garner you notice the uh, dragon is just making like drive-bys burning buildings over to the north um is it Dragon near us, like see, or is it like so far? No, it, it was flying around the lower levels, just shooting fire. Yeah. Uh, Joe, you you actually uh, see a lady. She looks kind of familiar in the uh, bazaar. She kind of waves you down. I'm gonna go and talk to this lady. I gave money to help fix their yep. stands up. And yeah. Oh, hi. Uh, how are you? Good. Good. She actually shows you. She's not even a tent anymore. She has an actual building on the side wow. where she sells her meats. She's like, yeah, you know, I Dang. really turned my luck around. It's it's only been like a week, and uh, I already have this nice stand. Things things are going well for me. You see ballistas like firing at it, and it's just kind of like swooping by, catching things on fire. It's not really paying any attention to you at all. The fire bolt and cast it on those two guys. Yep. So he drops his crossbow, yep, and drop his up. So he he j he jumps off and he starts just moving towards you. The commander of the uh, guard is up. He is going to run forward here and attack this uh, poor fellow on the... All right, Dave, uh, you make a saving throw. So so add one save. You just click on the box. Give yourself a check there. To do another twin spell of Firebolt. There you go. So okay. you, you, right. got, you get three saves. Uh, so you're at one health. Commander's up. He's going to walk up closer here. He's going to make an attack, which automatically gets advantage, which he won't even need. So let me bleeding out the entire match. Right? Oh, well, awesome. By up, I mean you're on the ground prone, but you can get up. And I'm going to attack this guy with Inflict Wounds. Damn. Get him. Ah, that, that guy's still alive? Dang, oh, critical hit. Cool. The one has a great axe? Yeah. Wait. These going to hit you for... Uh, oh, 21 one. damage. Oh, well, I'm taking a nap again, so. <laughs> there you go, Josh. Wait, this is wrong. Cool. Uh, this guard is going to run up next to you and start start protecting his uh, newfound leader. And kill him. Holy shit. Came up and showed Hoffa how to Right? <laughs> <laughs> Came up, he's like, I have him, sir. Stat easily... <laughs> Easily walks up and stabs his sword right into his stomach. He's like, ah, oh, that's all I got. <laughs> Before combat ends, can I just try one more? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, up the roof. Yes. <laughs> uh, so just you you successfully driver. climb up the roof. You realize you still cannot see up to here. You can see in the <laughs> second. You can definitely see the lower levels, but you cannot see the top of that tower. I'm, I'm just gonna chill up here. You've you've cleared the encounter, um, Chester is very thankful he starts uh, congratulating you guys um he comes up to the tower as well to get a look the lower city let me pull up the map. here that's the upper areas and that's the gate that you guys are guarding okay. everything else down here is in flames oh. building on the side wow. where she sells her meats she's like yeah you know i Dang. really turned my luck around it's it's only been like a week and uh 
already have this nice stand. Things things are going well for me. Um, but the entire lower district is just completely torched. I'm in. Yeah. So uh, he starts giving out commands to you know the guards to try to help start putting out these flames and. Uh, he's leaving two of them here to kind of guard the gate just in case, but uh, it seems as if the battle is over, and that's where we'll we'll end for tonight with the uh, efforts to put out the fire.